Hey, what's going on guys? It's Panda here, and welcome to a, another one-off video of a, a game that I wanted to play, but I didn't want to like commit to any uh, playthroughs or anything. Uh, this is Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and uh, basically I just want to do a little one-off, uh, giving out my thoughts of the game. Um, it's been out for a while now, and it's based on the Wii U game that's been out for even longer. Uh, so we can use a character. It gets easier from two dead. I want to try uh, Nabbit. Uh, so I think it's kind of interesting on how um, how easier it gets when you're playing Nabbit. And uh, I don't know how long this this video I'm going to try to keep quite short. Uh, it's just going to be my thoughts. Uh, but basically, normal plot: Princess Peach gets kidnapped. Nabbit's not in this uh, little cutscene, which I find weird. Uh, it's definitely reminded me a lot of the Wii version, um, which is the version that I probably played a lot. Uh, so it's similar to that, but it's literally based on the Wii U version. Uh, so I'm guessing, you know, the Wii U version is similar to the Wii version. And yeah, I don't know. I never, I never played this on the Wii U, so I'm, I, I kind of see the more, I, I kind of see the Wii version a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I guess in the Wii U version, this is the Wii version. Right. Ooh, we can do oh yeah, and then, like one of the huge things about this game was like acorns and everything. Um, I don't think Nabbit really gets affected by the power ups. Um, it's just Nabbit. Uh, I just find it. I just kind of find it kind of interesting how like, uh, like the the mechanics and how easy it gets. And I think the whole reason they did the whole like easy hard thing is maybe because like some like people that are not good at the game or like some more younger audience. It kind of like eases them into the game, I suppose. Uh, so uh, here's the start. Oh, cutscene takes a while. I suppose it's not the longest cutscene I've ever seen in the game. Uh, yeah, and I think I think it's like traditional eight worlds. Um, wait until we start. And oh god, that ta takes ages. Come on, speed things up a little bit. There we go, and I guess we'll try out the first level. Uh, so here's for level one. You get five lives. Uh, but it's very interesting because um, basically it's kind of like it, it, it does handicap you if you do if you do play that a bit. For an example, uh, yeah, basically they go through you, uh, which I find kind of ruins it a little bit. You can get suffocated by things, and there are ways to die. Uh, so you're not completely um, immune. Immune? I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, and also like any acorns or any power-ups you get, instead you do end up getting a bunch of um, lives at the end. Uh, so I was oh yeah, I'm, I was trying to go through some pipes. I forgot what pipes. Yeah, so that's already like we already picked up two acorns. That's uh, two lives we unlocked already. Like when you when you finish off the game. I want to get that coin. I want to get that um. I want to get that massive coin over there. There we go. Got it. Um, but yeah, also oh there we go pipe. Make sure to go for all the pipes. And there's another coin. Um, but I, I'm like, I, I haven't played the, um, I've yet to play the other characters, so I don't know, like, if if much of the normal level changes. I mean, I'm guessing not, because I feel like if much of the, if the level changes, then they might as well, like, I don't know, because I feel like the character, the goom, I feel like it's weird how the goombas and everything do go right for you. I remember getting scared that I was going to get killed. And then it just like goes, and then like the goombas and stuff just go right through me. So it is weird. Oh yeah, actually there's a hidden thing. Well not hidden, but like, I messed up this first time. Basically, hit this block and it goes upwards. I, I, I keep, I do this a lot in Mario games. I always hit the block underneath. Like I always send the vines to go the other way, basically. And it's really annoying. I, yeah, I basically just go this way. A uh, bunch of coins. Okay, not there wasn't that much. I thought I thought there'll be a little bit more, and I believe there's like another hidden thing over here, but it's literally just coins. But it isn't like the 3DS version where you get coins like where, where coins were like a massive thing. I do feel like there are a little bit more generous nowadays with the coins than they used to be. But I remember like how mad the 3DS version was, I believe. Which again, there's another new uh, Super Mario Bros. game I haven't played. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 like the graphics are very similar to the Wii version. Can't go into these pipes, I believe. Shall we try to do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you get an acorn, and it basically just gives you another life. And another life. 
Uh, but you don't get the life until the very end. Oh, but like any Mario game, like as soon as you get like 100 coins, uh, you automatically gain the life anyway. What do you think up here? There is. How did you get up there? I think you do like. Can you go up there with Nambit? Nambit, whatever you call it. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can't. Uh, ooh! Oh it's, just, oh, it's just the one, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love these, these are always so satisfying. <laughs> when you get them ones. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I kind of want to know how to get up that um, tube. I don't know if you can with this. Or do you need to like jump up one of them? Nah, because they're too low. Maybe we're like running? Do, do, do. Hmm. Confuser. I don't know how you I I don't know how you would do that one, to be honest. Uh but here we go. End of the level. And uh yeah, that, that's that's the first level of Super Mario Bros. you delight. Um so yeah, it is enjoyable. I mean I'm playing as an abbot and I feel like it, it'd be good to like play as the other characters to see like how gradually hard. I think like Nabbit's the easiest one, then Toadette's easier. Uh, and then, like, anything Toad, Luigi, and Mario just, like, kind of default. I don't think it gets. I don't, it, it doesn't get harder when you play as, like, Mario or uh, or anything. It's just. I think it just makes it more easier for, like, more younger audience. Uh, but sadly, he can't even do the fire. He can't even have, like, the fire flower or the ice flower. Which is. Kind of sad, but yeah, I, I just I don't know I don't know what I think of it really with the whole like being like handicapped. I mean, I suppose if I complain about it, I might as well just be playing as like Luigi or Mario or Toad, or even like play as Toadette to see like how easier it gets. Like that. Um, but yeah, underground level. Oh. No, my oh. Nope, don't fall. Oh wow. <laughs> but at the same time, you'll be impressed how many times I've actually died playing this. Like, I, I have been impre impressed by the amount of times I've been playing this. Right. Um, oh, this is so you can see like the overview of the whole map. That's world three, I believe. I don't know. I forget what I forget what world what, which. But yeah, it reminds me very similar to like Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then I'm guessing, can't you, do you not see, oh, Prince of Peach cards there. Is that supposed to be World 7 and World 8 unlocks after world, afterwards, I think? I remember in the Wii version they had, um... Oh yeah, I don't, you, you do get items, but not yet. And I don't know, like, because what exactly the items do yet. But you get them from, like, fighting those little, you know those little bonus levels you get when, like, something like a Koopa Trooper or, or like, a Hammer Bro. I, I, so when, when someone, like, when you get interrupted by someone when you're trying to walk across the, the like, the main map. If that makes sense? Ooh. But I remember in the Wii version they had, like, the rainbow sort of, or, like, they had, like, the nice little rainbow sort of world, which... It was really unexpected because also Mario games usually have eight worlds. I don't know if uh, if this one has anything like that. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, slide through all this. Very nice. Get that coin. Very good. I wonder if there's any like uh, any hidden bits. Okay, there's got to be something in here, right? Oh no, I thought. I thought there might be something if you go under there. Might as well get a checkpoint. Yeah, we'll keep going as well. Oh, what? I keep keep getting excited, but like it doesn't do anything when you play that a bit. I'll just tow that. Does, does I don't I wonder if you like if you actually get them when you tow that. I know I need to play as tow that and like compare it. Oh, oh, okay, in bit. Nice. Okay. Oh, I, I love when it shoots you. That's so so satisfying. I love when like the pipe. I don't know. I, I I like that. Funny enough. Uh, shoot, shoot, get some. Right, slide down. And then the last one. What does it give you? Five flower. Should we go see if we can go through that pipe? Oh, 
I'm waiting for the crystal to come down. Can we even... Oh, there we go. I, I, I don't know if I was supposed to, like, slam into it or if, it was, if I just needed to be patient. Oh, and another coin. We've got all three coins in this level. And then we go back up. Keep, keep rolling. And I guess we go up this pipe. And we are done for the level. We can't even, can't even get up these stairs. Can we get one up? Oh yes, we got one up. We've got 16 lives so far. Right, so I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much. I just want to give my thoughts on Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all, all in the next one. Thank you very much, and goodbye. <laughs>